Hello, Internet. So, I mentioned in my previous video that a lot has happened uh, recently. So, I'm going to try to catch you up as much as I can. I don't know where to begin. So, I'll try to do this chronologically. There's a lot of emotions that uh, have been flying around, and I'm kind of tapped out emotionally. So, if I don't come across as displaying uh the emotions that i have been feeling i i think it's because i'm just emotionally exhausted it's been a bit of a roller coaster i met someone i met someone who is amazing in a, a number of ways i can't even begin to tell you how amazing we met at sort of a singles mixer uh <laughs> the week before Thanksgiving. And we hit it off right away. We spent the entire evening talking and we really liked each other. Uh, there was definitely an, an instant attraction, I think, uh, definitely for me to her. Later she said the same from her to me. Uh, we started uh, chatting online and then eventually texting through our phones. And we talked a lot. I mean, every day, texting, texting, texting. And it's like, here I am, a 40-year-old, uh, <laughs> texting someone as often as that. And it's like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm probably going to bubble through this a little bit just because it's so amazing and so wonderful. Um, her name is Maria. And uh, she's... Oh, God, I don't even know where to start. Um, so she's a scientist. She, uh, is employed through the state to do sciencey stuff. Um, I'm not really even sure how much information about her I can share. I, I've already gotten her permission to talk about her in this video. Uh, but, um, uh, I'm going to be a little bit vague simply because, you know, it's a lot. Uh, and, and I, I, do, I just want to be respectful, but, um, but she's a big nerd, just like me. Uh, she likes a lot of geeky stuff, just like me. Video games, sci-fi, movies, shows. Um, she's a lot more active than I am. Uh, she does something called capoeira, which if you're not aware is a South American form of martial arts. Uh, she fences, she works out, she does yoga, she plays the violin. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she's so many things. And it's like, I've, I've, I've said to her that like you could take any two of her skills, put them in another woman, and 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 that woman would be like just amazing. And the fact that it's all her, it's astounding. She makes her own clothes. She likes Renaissance fairs, and she makes clothes for that. But she also just makes like regular button down uh, uh, shirts and things like that. And uh, it's just it's so impressive. She is so impressive. Uh, she has this amazing philosophy and uh, just this, this way that she can look at people and the world around her. And, uh, and it's, just, it's just so encouraging and, uh, and bright and beautiful, uh, just like her, really. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we, we were talking a lot and, uh, and then we started going on dates and we've been together ever since. I think, in part, my extended silence uh, on the channel has been because I was really just wanting to focus on uh, a number of things. Um, certainly myself and my family, because the holidays were rolling around, and, you know, I went to my grandfather's farm uh, for Thanksgiving with my grandpa, my mom, and my aunt. Um, and um, and that was a great time. And then, you know, uh, the holidays rolled around, Christmas... So I wanted to focus on a lot of things, you know, like that. Um, but also I wanted to focus on Maria and uh, my relationship with her. And I was hesitating to even bring it up, like on the channel, because I, I, I didn't want to set myself up for failure. Like maybe to, like out of, out of a certain fear that I might uh, jinx it in some way, maybe, I don't know. But things have been feeling really solid between us lately, and recently we said I love you for the first time. I'm in love with her.
<laughs> I'm in love, guys. I found love. Um, and, uh, she has been just so encouraging. And, um, she had been recently going through something, kind of a tough time, and so I had been, you know, encouraging her as well as I could. And I actually, I, I, uh, I texted her something I saw online that said, if you find yourself in a dark place, you may feel that you have been buried. But it may be that you have been planted and it's time to blossom. And she said that it, she doesn't feel like it really applies to her, but she turned it around and she made it about me. Because I have been through a very dark time, and multiple dark times, as a matter of fact, and, um, and I have been kind of safe, underground, in the dark, just wrapped up inside a seed. And now, finally, it's time for me to grow, to reach up, to claw my way out, to see the light. And she sees that in me. She sees that that's what I'm doing. And she loves me for it. When she said that, I, uh, I cried. I cried because I realized she was right. It's true. It's really true. And it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. This overwhelming feeling of light and joy and happiness and i realized that for the first time in a long time in years i'm happy i am i'm really genuinely happy <laughs> and that's, that's amazing and while I, I know that she didn't make it happen, I said this to her, actually. The light that I feel comes from me. But she was the one that opened the door. So there's that. <laughs> and that is, by, by itself, that is just wonderful and amazing. And I'm very, very happy. Um... She knows I have cancer, and I mean, obviously, um, that's not something I would keep from her. Uh, she knows about this channel, she, she knows about a lot of the stuff that I do with my life. Like I said, we've talked a lot. I think we told each other things in the first two weeks of knowing each other that most people don't tell each other in the first two months. And here we are two months later, and we're telling each other things that most people don't tell each other in the first two years. And it feels a little fast, but it's also a pace that we're both very comfortable with because we felt this immediate connection with each other, this immediate uh, bond. And it's profound and it's wonderful. I can't even begin to describe it to other people. I just, what I feel inside for her, with her, when we're together, even when we're apart, I feel it all the time. I feel this strength inside of me i feel strong and it really is my strength but it's a strength that she nurtured that she encouraged to grow every rare once in a while you meet someone and it feels like you've known them your whole life it's just i mean it's not easy i mean Every couple has its hardships, and we've definitely had ours thus far, and I'm sure we'll continue to, but, you know, that's normal. But the work to maintain a relationship this important is 
something I am more than willing to do. I want to make that grow. I want it, I want it to continue to grow, to evolve, to continue to be something beautiful, because it is. It is beautiful. Uh, there's other things that I'm going through right now uh, that deal with family, but they're incredibly personal, so I don't know yet if I want to talk about them. Uh, also, the family members in question, um, I haven't discussed with them about talking about this on the channel. It's very intensely personal stuff uh, that I just don't think I have the right to, to, to bring up here. But uh, just know that someone in my family is going through something very, very difficult, but they are getting the care they need, and the family is there for them. I'm there for them. If you ever see this, I'm, I'm there for you. I care. Very much. And I just, I want to help you. And I want you to know that I love you. And whatever I can do to help, uh, I hope I can. That's it. That's, that's all. Um, kind of a <laughs> anticlimactic ending to this, but, uh, I just, I, I had to share, I had to share this, this, this wonderful thing with Maria. Uh, hopefully she'll be on the channel soon. I don't know when it's up to her, but it, that would be nice. We could talk a little bit, but, um, but for now, just, just know that I have someone in my life that I feel things for that I don't think I've ever felt for anyone, at least not on this level. I mean, it's different every time. Every time you're in a relationship, and I have had relationships, it's different every time. But this feels different in a way that I didn't expect on a level that is deeply profound we make each other happy, and that's so, that is so important. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Take care, everyone. Be well. Be happy. Until next time.